Hi friends, welcome back to All in the Law. This is Quick Pediatrics, and today I'm going to talk about the common causes of pediatric bacterial meningitis. So, you should know about what you call the common organisms. That's really very important for your examination. So, let's talk briefly a neonate. Okay, neonate, if is younger than one month, one month age, okay, that's a neonate, right? So what's the most common bacteria? It's a kind of what you got to test for you, whether you're prepared for your examination or not. So what's the most common bacteria? It's a group B streptococci, right? And remember, the other is Listeria monocytogens. Listeria monocytogens, E. coli, and other important bacteria like gram negative enteric bacilli. Okay, how do you treat it? You treat with what you call third generation cephalosporins. Remember, most of the meningitis in children is treated with um, third generation cephalosporins. But here, we're going to add one another one antibiotic. What's that antibiotic? Can you tell me? It's nothing but is ampicillin why we we add ampicillin because it's of listeria monocytogen infection okay since it's very common in neonates that's why we add ampicillin to this regimen okay if the infant that's 1 to 24 months infant okay first two years as a most common cause is a strep pneumonia strep pneumonia okay then we have Neisseria meningitis, meningitis, and Haemophilus influenzae type B. Okay. So what's the treatment for this? As I said, the third generation cephalosporins is very important, and you can add vancomycin um, until the susceptibility is known. Then you can add vancomycin. Okay. Let's talk about the children with the more than two years. That's a more than twenty-four months. What's the most common cause? is again the same thing that is strep pneumonia neisseria meningitis and influenza type b so what's the treatment for this same treatment that's a third generation cephalosporins and the vancomycin should be added okay guys so brief discussion about this try to remember listeria monocytogen never forget the listeria monocytogen in a patient in a neonate uh, presenting with the meningitis and give ampicillin that's it okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care